All right, guys, I'm watching. This is a video from somebody who buys powdered lemon. I imagine the mom's, you know, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Uh Well, hello, beautiful people. It's Mama Goob. So I want to circle back and see how Alexandra Rodriguez is doing, our favorite honorable mention girl. Um, here's one thing I do want to say. Um, I've been so busy, so I haven't had time to read all the comments, but I would really love if somehow as a society we could stop the stigma against child loss like miscarriages so i i get wanting to wait to tell anybody i did that too um i've said this many times before my last pregnancy miscarried at 11 weeks it is extremely it's not only physically painful but it's mentally painful all those hormones start rushing and then you know you get excited you have a pregnancy well I feel like every pregnancy should be celebrated or should be acknowledged at least. So the reason why I think that I, it was kind of flawed thinking for me to not tell anybody about my pregnancy because after I miscarried, everybody found out anyways. So what's the difference? <laughs> I don't know. I just wish as a society, we would remove the stigma and don't make women think they have to suffer alone i mean no she shouldn't spew it on the internet but gosh you know I, you know i'm not gonna not talk about it and i don't think she should not talk about it so and this is what i do i react um also i probably am going to try some very different people um the one i was watching this morning somebody suggested was quirky rose lover rose I, i'm not sure so she's like a Amberlynn Reed on steroids. Like she's even worse from the couple minutes I saw. So eventually I'm going to start incorporating other people because girl world is uh, withering on the vine. But until then, let's take a look at what Alex has for us this morning. Some domestic goodness for a person that doesn't have a nine to five, no kids and a pet one. Let's take a look. All right, so she posted this yesterday, and it's called Spend the Day With Me Daily Vlog. So, I don't know. So It's pretty quick at 23 minutes. Let's see what's going on. Hello, you guys. I am getting ready for bed. It's 7.38 on Sunday night, and I just had the urge to start a vlog. I did okay. really, really light makeup today. Okay. Just like that SPF and... Mascara and a little blush. I wonder if she used that new peel off lipstick because it looks like her lipstick held. Mine definitely doesn't by 7 30 at night. So, not that much to take it's off. Lip stain. But, guys, the hair is growing a lot and I kind of feel like I'm at the point where I might need some layers put in. I don't know. I kind of feel like I could do my heatless curls. <laughs> I what is that try. face? I'm just going to try. I washed my hair this morning and blow dried it just kind of straight, but then I had it in a clip. Um, we had a really nice weekend. I didn't vlog this weekend, but today we went and saw some of Yara's family and I got to see my nephew again. He is about six weeks and he is so freaking cute and so sweet and I just like love holding him. I actually like just posted a picture holding him on Instagram. He's just so sweet. There's nothing he, he's cute. better than yes, newborn. Yes, I love snuggles. newborns. Okay, this little piece. <laughs> Kind of I love newborns when they're not mine. Bothering me? Oh, no, no, no. Be it's going so Here. well. <gasps> no. <laughs> Guys, that was going really well for a second. Do you think I should like maybe dampen it a little? How about you not talk while <laughs> you do it? Maybe that would help it like stay in place. I miss heatless curls. Your hair's too short. <laughs> Please just let me do this. I'm really like it was going so well until that little piece popped out. So. Let's see. Okay. 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 Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Wrap her up. <sighs> okay. I don't want to get too excited. It's not perfect, but no. I'll take 
what we can get here. Anyway, I hope you guys all had a good weekend. Let me know if you did anything fun. I can't believe, I feel like February is going by so much faster than January. January went on for what felt like three or four months. Went on for and now exactly February 31 is just days. flying by. But it's a leap year this year, which is kind of uh, nostalgic for me and Yar because we got engaged on leap day four years ago. Very nice. So it's nice. just like kind of exciting and special. So, oh my gosh, yes. So we'll probably do something um, on that day, make it like a little tradition. This is an exciting moment. It looks like I'm gonna do a little more. You guys know who Pippi Longstocking is. She looks like Pippi Longstocking. Dampness. It's not a compliment. And how I usually do it is like that in the back to keep it secure. We've got yeah. a little bit of a stray fallout, but I'm gonna leave it alone, I'm gonna leave it alone. So let's take off our very light makeup. Yesterday we just ran errands, did a return at the store. Our friend came over and we watched John Wick for the first time. I had never seen those movies and neither has Yar, but I know they're like really popular and it was actually pretty good. I'm getting like kind of into action movies, which is something I never expected. I feel like after watching Game of Thrones, you can kind of handle anything. <laughs> like the only part that made me want to throw up was the dog part. Oh, my heart. Yeah, I'm not watching anything that has a dog or I don't like gratuitous violence. I actually, I've never seen a Game of Thrones. My sister was really into it, but um, yeah, I don't like violence. <laughs> personally. I mean, I don't mind like the Fast and Furious movies. There's a lot of action movies I do like. I just don't like gratuitous violence. But Especially when animals are involved. going to watch some of the other ones because I think there's at least like four John Wick movies. And there are some good movies that I want to see in the theater right now. I want to see Anyone But You is still out, I think. I want to see Wonka. Um, I just got this sweatshirt in the mail today. I actually bought it off of eBay. Sometimes I'll go on like Poshmark eBay, Depop, or anywhere if you want to get like expensive pieces like aloe or Lululemon. Never because hold. This I've was never heard of tags aloe. and I got it for $40. And I think they go for like almost 100 new. So it's a good little uh, hack if you ever want to, okay. you know, not spend the full amount. It's always cheaper on there. I'm still using all of the Dime Beauty skincare and my skin is really agreeing with it. My skin it, it annoys me that no water is involved. <laughs> will never be like perfect, at least not right now in my life, but ah. like a small fluctuation. Oh, was that a hint? And so my acne cleared up in my pregnancies. And actually, after I was done with all the pregnancies and stuff, it stayed clear because, you know, I had back knee real bad. Now that is heartbreaking, back knee. And I used to get it on my neck. Oh. I do feel like my skin has really... Uh, been liking this system. People's Choice Awards are on tonight, so I might watch. Definitely, um, no, no idea. Like I said, I'm kind of just like here for award shows right now. <laughs> Something fun about it. Guys, I hope the heatless curls stay in because this is like a really exciting moment. If I put layers in though, they definitely will fall out. So maybe until my hair gets a lot longer, I should probably well, okay, so at least she's not talking about chopping it more because wasn't that just a few weeks ago? She Fill wanted to layers. cut it right, more. Guys, I don't know. I just wanted to say hi, see hi. if the heatless curls would work, and give you a little update. We'll see what it looks like. The furls Hello, friend. 20 minutes later. Are you staring at me oh. eating my cherries? I can't have any. I'm sorry. Favorite Roni. snack lately has been just like you're, a bowl you're of eating. cherries. Got on the red carpet pre-award show. Okay. Good. And what are you doing? Roni. What are you doing? Brownie! What are you doing? Mama. So handsome. Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. My tripod broke last night. <laughs> Thankfully, I've had it for a very long time. But literally, Ooh. the top part, oh, that sucks. which is this part, just like fell off. And I thought it would screw back on. But as you can see, it's like, it's you know, it kind of warped. I don't know. It fell apart. Goodbye, tripod. I love this tripod. This She's is got my dishes favorite in her tripod. Sink. I've had it for, I wanna say like three years. 
at least two to three years. So we got a good run out of it. The good thing was it happened last night. We're nostalgic about a tripod. Okay. But yes, and they have three years Amazon. is fine. And the other one is coming in today because this tripod's so good. I'm using just like a little mini tripod now. This one's great because it's like super long, but it's like very compact. So you can use it as like handheld or I can like put it up to like 60 inches. Um, so hopefully the other one comes in soon. I love, I love my tripod. But my arm already hurts, you guys. <laughs> Let's make some breakfast very much into yogurt bowls lately. Finally, gonna try these jumbo so. blueberries. Okay, this is pretty good. So the coffee is definitely out as a side character. Got it. Have you guys in the cabinet. You guys, I am in deep on TikTok on this woman, Risa Tisa. TikTok she posted a 52 part um, TikTok series about a pathological liar that she married and she's walking us through the whole story. Every part I think is 10 minutes long and it is better than a podcast. It is absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm glad that she's sharing her story for other people who you know, maybe going through something like this, but it's like Oof. all of us, it seems like a lot. What of does that mean, Alex? Us are listening um, like it's a full on podcast. Lighting, so, by the way. I don't know, I just like, love her it feels like we're on facetime okay. <laughs> for the last like couple days i've just had her on um in the background <sighs> of life when i'm just chilling uh yard just ran yard just ran out to go on a run we've got our little yogurt base having a stony field organic probiotic vanilla yogurt i need to rinse my fruit i have just been loving berries berries and cherries been on a fruit kick cherries are expensive. I, mean, I always kind of love fruit but like i go through phases with what fruit hi pookie do you need to go poopoos need to go poopoos okay we have to take a break really quick from making breakfast bruno has routine in the morning he goes out and pees then he needs cuddles in his chair you want cuddles in your chair <gasps> and that's how we yeah, say it mama and then he mama. comes over here cuddles. and rubs against my legs Aww, and i pet him Bruni. before he can go poop Aww. Morning. He has a very strict morning routine. Yes. yes. Dogs get into routine. He goes pee, he comes in, he eats his dental chew, then he has to sit and let me rub him for a little bit, we and then he'll poop. Our dental chew, I'm like, who wants a toothbrush? They know what that is. And then he'll have breakfast. You're very specific. You're very specific. You just want to rub against my legs. You just want to rub against my legs. I know. Good morning. Good morning. Ooh, she's got cherry slippers. You're a horse, huh? See, I'm half Bernadoodle, Oof. half horse. Oof. Are you a horse? You gotta go poo poo? <gasps> Come on, let's go poo poo. I gotta go. I gotta let's go. Show them how you poo Come on. I got go. cuddles, you go poo poo. Ready? Ooh, look at the snow. Go. Fuck no that. poo You're doing this because the like, camera's on. Fuck on, go that. I would say cuddles? the same okay. thing, too. I'm gonna try out also the new granola today. <sighs> new to me. Okay. I just rinsed our berries, and then I'm also going to do chia seeds and a little drizzle of honey. I don't even really like honey the way it tastes on its own, but like if you do it with certain things, you can't really like taste the honey. No. So ooh, you don't eat <laughs> raspberries. Mmm. And I even just brushed my teeth. I mean, it tastes good. Oh, come on. Oh my God, I just dropped my mic in yogurt. <laughs> this is why I need my tripod. I just dropped... <laughs> She can't do anything, can she? Everything is a fucking cluster in her life. The, the big fluffy mic on my camera into the yogurt. Um, all right. <laughs> Moving on. Normally I would try to make this look all aesthetic, but I'm just gonna mix it up in a few minutes. So we're just gonna load it up. Oh, these are like stunning raspberries. Mm, jumbo I don't care for raspberries. Why are they better? When they're jumbo. I'm gonna do about a table. I like blueberries better. The thing about um, raspberries is the seeds. Also, the chia. I'm surprised. I would let it sit in the yogurt so it kind of expands. But they're ch they're crunchy and they probably get in her teeth. And that's there are a lot of calories. Spoon of chia seeds. Ch 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 chia. Or two of granola. Mm. When I was a kid. Chia seeds were used on a gift of a head that you'd get at Christmas time. 
with your clap on clap off light. All right, there's breakfast. Chia, 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 chia. I still have them. Mixer room. Oh, and I forgot the honey. Just like a little drizzle. Don't don't bother if you don't like it. it taste There's sugar in the yogurt perfect. too. Also, you guys, when we were out over the weekend, oh we saw Girl Scouts and we had to get some yeah. cookies. No, I, uh, these are Yara's favorites. Um, and these were the ones that I saw like um, a simple recipe for. So I'm going to make them at some point. But it's with just coconut shreds, cashews, chocolate, and dates. Oh. So I'm going to try to make those part? at some point. We were saying, though, these like... The only ones that taste the same as what we remembered were the Thin Mints. Oh, yeah. Um, these taste like they always did. Put those bitches but in the freezer. Don't taste, I feel like they don't taste as good as they used to. Same with the, the peanut butter ones. Mm, and also the they're not very good. Weren't these called something else before? I don't know. Um, so, yeah, we got like the classic. Those in the back are good. I can't remember what those are called. We tried these new ones. These are actually like really, really good. Yes. So Thin Mints. you got you got to get Girl Scout cookies once during the season. Yes, no, I actually do agree with that. There's nothing better than Thin Mints in the freezer. And we usually load up on those and then I hide them in the freezer. And then occasionally I'll have, you know, one or two after dinner. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just I haven't seen you. any Girl right, Scouts I'm going to get ready because I'm hanging out with my mom today. It's her day off. We're just going to like run some errands together. I'm going to go make myself feel alive. <laughs> also, I am still listening to this. Go support her. Mm. Risa Tisa. She like doesn't her get videos, any money though, does she? Comment, give her support, give her engagement. Like she's just amazing, and I want her to just like, I don't know. We all just want her to thrive. We all feel like her bestie. We are besties. Um, Do you realize this story it's a show, just, right? Like, heartbreaking. Okay, let's see if I can not be a bonehead and remember to edit this music out. Ugh. <laughs> uh. I don't see how she cannot get copyright copyrighted because I don't see copyrights in her description unless she doesn't need I don't know I have music that YouTube lets me use but I have to disclose it in the comments at the comments the description whatever but yes you're gonna hear my cheesy music because uh, unless I could get this really down to where you can't hear it. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. I don't know. Some of this shit I might just cut. Okay, I'm here with mom. We are. Mama Fearless, my very least favorite character on this show. Running More than Alex. Okay. First stop is Dollar Tree, because you know what I need? Cleaning supplies. This is the place and to get like it. hydrogen peroxide, mouthwash. I'm not spending like Target money on this. <laughs> All right, you guys. You could get the, the off-brand stuff. Oh, they have cute stuff over there I don't, too. I don't like that. You like peeps, right? You're a peeps girl. Um, I like them frozen. Frozen, yeah. yeah. Do you ever put them in the microwave? Oh. You mean the freezer? No, the microwave. Oh. Like they blow up. Have no. you ever seen that? No. You gotta do it. Okay. Ugh. Milk chocolate peeps. Yummy. I love all this. It's so colorful. Okay, good. Yay. Oh, look how cute this see, would be. Like so fun. For egg dyeing, look how cute. Aww. I love that. I haven't dyed eggs for a few years. I know. Since COVID, we I dye eggs. Oh, yeah, I don't think we've gone to Mimi's for yep. that. Oh, they even have an egg. Oh, there's stickers. We've got a little kit. Pause. I'll uh, buy that. No. Yes. Spring is coming. Well, I'm kind of a pause snob, not going to lie. But, um,. Yeah, y'all, I, if I see it in the store, I'm going to get it because it always sells out. Yeah, so cute. it just makes us feel hopeful. Yeah. It's so not dollar store time. shit. This is the place to do an Easter basket. They've got it all. Reese's oh, are good. Eggs. I like these. These are always so cute. Oh, yeah. Fruity Pebbles Bunny. I haven't had Fruity Pebbles in forever. Fruit Loop Jelly Beans. Like jelly beans. Oh, Fruit Jelly Loop. Belly. That sounds so good. That sounds delicious. Sour you know, Patch. Are my go-tos, right? Oh, yeah, I know. Peeps lollipop rings. Oh, this would be great to make an Easter basket. Who, who are you making Rabbit an Easter basket pies. for? Your adult cousins? Where's Grandpa when you need him? Why do I like this little pig? I actually really like that. <sighs> That's that so, so cute. cute. Oh, this is the place to get eggs for egg hunts. Ah. Oh, my gosh. And they're all fun and cute. They are very cute. Look at these. Oh. Do, do they actually does she actually have kids in her family i don't remember seeing that like at christmas i thought they were all adults like her friends have kids definitely but listen alex wait till you have kids okay then you're gonna say oh how cute 
exactly one year, maybe when they're about three, and then you're going to realize what a fucking mess all that shit is and how you're stepping on them sooner or later and then you're throwing them out and you're vowing never to do Easter eggs like that again. Yeah, we I did it for a few years. This one day. Look how freaking cute. And like they got baskets. If you guys need to make your kids an Easter basket. Oh my God. I would do these baskets. That's so cute. That's my, my Easter basket. And the egg hunt. I remember that. Oh, I just like, the, I the best. Memories. Doing an egg hunt is the best. Like that was one of my favorite things as a kid. Farms. Oh, <laughs> this is adorable. That's cute. Wait, I love that. And that actually looks... Like it's from Target. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Even this is kind of cute with the little fuzz on the bum. Let's think about this for a second. Target is supposed to be like, I used to work for Target when I was a baby. I met my husband there. Uh, I was 17. It was never supposed to be high end. It was always like a Walmart-esque store, like Kmart. Well, yeah, actually, so cute. Kmart oh, was the shit in the day, guys. A bunch of yeah. them. Yeah. That's all we oh, had. Oh, yeah, they've got it on all of them. So cute. More Easter stuff. More Easter I love clutter. I still trees. That's cute. Those are so cute. Hey, old. Actually, those would match the vibe of the pastel gingerbread houses. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's check out the Dollar Tree Plus section. Yes. Look at this little egg tree. That's really cute. I kind of like this giant peep with a bubble wand. Oh, that's fun. That's really. Oh, those are kind of. Oh, it's a, the eyes. Kind of. Oh. Imagine it lit it up like too. An alien. And it would light up. It's scary. It was scary. Too scary for me. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what I do? She even it's fucking talks scary. like her. I, I buy that. Okay. Who gets the mom from the Mean Girls thing from her? I I get that. I'm getting that feeling. She's like a tryhard, isn't she? Okay, so here's a little hack for you. Guys. My mom's that definitely her own person. Mm -hmm. no I think this looks very realistic, but what you do is you get like um, a ceramic pot to put it in. Uh, I get mine at Ocean State um, because they're inexpensive. You could get them at Target, you could get them at Walmart, and then you just simply put it right inside. And it, it makes it look more real. It makes it look way more real. And then you have to yeah, dust it's it. It's obvious, but once you tuck it in, you can put some moss. And you can't even it like too. use. Yeah, you bad. can't even use a duster because it like the sticks. Oh, I saw these here last time. How cute are these candles? And they actually smell oh, really good. I know, oh, so cute. Oh, oh how's your candle, Alex? Fun. Ooh, you see make your own is? wreath. Yes. Oh, God, don't do that. Oh, don't do it. Really fun. Don't do it. Oh yeah. I kind of want to make one. I think you should. <laughs> mm, I think that would be really fun. Yeah, with the balloons. I think Go I ahead. have a bunny wreath already, though, like from Home Goods from years ago, but I like the idea. I think it's a fun project. It is a fun project. <laughs> I like these. Thank you. You should get some lights like that. Remember how you have the Christmas lights over your kitchen? Oh, window? yeah, that would be really cute. Be and do it like cute. per the season. What do you like better, the eggs? I actually think I like the bunnies and the carrots. I'm so bah humbug about this shit. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like these. Should we it's have like a food? waste. A waste yes. of time and resources. Do you like better? Oh, God, I don't have one's upside down. <laughs> guys, so sorry. I woke up with a stuffy nose. I don't know. My head feels heavy. <laughs> I swear to God, I didn't eat a gummy. <laughs> oh, I saw the prettiest, like, woven eggs that go on the front porch. Oh, yeah? Well, oh, like the... Yeah, I know. Like this is boring as shit. Yeah, but they're, like, yeah, really big, heavy but eggs. But we're in it now. They were we're going to see it like through. Over $100. Where'd you see them? At home. I was like, I just cannot. This is so I'm assuming this is all part of them trying to be more competitive with, like, Dollar General and things like that. Like yeah, I guess. I would never. I've bought stuff. All right. So the like cords and stuff for your phone, if you're desperate, like let's say you're traveling and you just need one, but honestly, they don't last. Like I think Apple knows that it's a cheap plug and they just stop working. Before in the section. I wonder how they are. I kind of like that. I think I have some like this at home. Honestly, they're really soft. Feel that? Oh, that feels butter. Like I buy them. They're yeah, buttery. I didn't already have six pair. On Twenty-five. Okay, so let's Lula try Rowe. This. I know I'm pretty. I get that. Blah blah blah. But my eyes look tired, and I actually feel tired though. Maybe it's my you look like shit. But they look tired, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna go to this place I found that does under eye filler. Oh, you are? I, I found one in Fall <sighs> River that has excellent reviews. Okay. Anyway, 
In the meantime, for only a dollar twenty-five, I thought I could just wear these and cover yes. my eyes. Yes, those look why not? Really cute, right? I love them. And Attention, you whore. As much because sometimes my glasses don't. Work. And don't worry, guys. Yes, I, I did say that. She doesn't need to get under eye filler. We're looking in the food section, guys. We hit. Ew! Check. No! 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 This no! Put it back! Ooh, Put so it back! A no! It's like a viral TikTok sauce. This Tick toxic. Sauce People home. literally got and sick. It out and it became like viral, okay. right? But it was like going bad sending it to people's house because it wasn't like refrigerated. And she, and it, but that. she made it all supernatural. There yeah, was no yeah. per preservatives. Yeah, okay. So she all right. I'm going to explain this, guys, to you again. Preservatives are there for a reason when you buy something fucking pre-made at the store. This is why you don't buy pre-made shit. Okay, because they do have preservatives. If you want to make something without preservatives, you have to make it yourself and you have to use it quick. Because think of the word preservatives. It means to preserve. So that stupid, disgusting sauce can survive for three years at the Dollar Tree. She started like collabing with a company and then there was like all this beef. And as you can see, the sauce is not pink. It was supposed to be like bright pink and it like well, kind of flopped. It's like a whole story. And now they're just trying to get rid of them and they're in the Dollar Tree. It's so sad. It's a, no, it's not it's sad. That woman's even worse story. than it's you guys. Like, I've never had it. A lot of people say it's kind of ranchy. Is it sweet? Oh, okay. It's savory. Dragon fruit puree is the first ingredient. Interesting. Coconut cream. That sounds kind of good, actually. What I mean, do you, what do you put in it? Is it like people put it on like chicken tenders and stuff? Okay, like it's a dipping sauce. Yeah, a dipping sauce. Oh my gosh, I can't For dips. I saw that here. It feels Pink. like feels like a big moment. Surprised she didn't buy it. All right, you guys. Next stop, we're going to Aldi's. She's got to return. Yeah. So I don't know. Did you At guys Aldi's? Did you vlog me buying that guacamole? No, these? no, no, no. We need to tell them. Yeah. So I bought this thing just now in the Dollar Tree. It's like you know you get chili mix, taco mix. They have guacamole mix. Like a seasoning packet. Because usually I have to buy all this extra stuff with my what 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 uh all right guys i'm watching this is a video from somebody who buys powdered lemon i imagine the mom's you know the apple doesn't fall far from the tree i, I don't know I've, I've made guacamole a few times i don't remember anything really exciting in there chili a cayenne maybe I, I don't know. Salt and pepper? You're trying too hard. If you feel like you have to put some kind of pre-made bullshit in it, you're trying too hard. Avocados? Yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm going to try this. It's going to be so easy. You'll have to let us know how it is. I don't even bother. I don't even bother. Just whatever Aldi's has is what we Ooh. ate. I haven't gone in a long time. I'm watching this really great show on PBS called Seaside Hotel. Yeah. I, just I might just lower this and just talk over it. Do we <laughs> fucking care Nothing about avocados? I always love looking at this section at Aldi's. Yeah, I try to stay out of it. so much like fun stuff. Yeah, there. exactly. Oh, stuff you don't need. Organizer don't need it but it is cool i got a bunch of stuff in, like this from Little when my cans. kids went to college oh and this is like we used to buy them things like the studio remember to flush oh fucking a boards. i hate bathroom rules bamboo steamers. that's nice these are adorable too. that's cute Calendar. see they have so much oh my god i gotta okay. stay out of that this area of do not no don't do it like maybe sit crisscross in i don't know if you could but it kind of looks like that. Oh, these are the best. The office chair mat. When you have carpet. So your chair is like good on a carpet. I have one of these from Amazon, but I think it's like a thicker <sighs> plastic. But I like that they have them here. It's a good price. Shocking. Okay, you guys. It is later. Oh, her hair looks cute like that. Two sweats and liquid pain. We've got our tripod. Back. Oh, thank so fucking God. I don't think they had the white one back when I had bought this originally. But I like pink. I love this tripod. Yeah, and it can work for your phone as well, um, which is another reason I love it. So here is what it looks like. It comes in black too, as you have seen. So you can like handhold vlog here. In case you were super wondering, she has this linked below. With, I'm not um, clicking on it. A phone or a tripod, which goes on this little ring. And then if you pull this part up, it has a little phone one. I'm defrosting meat. Or you can turn it this way to do your phone 
um, vertically. So you can do it either way. It's got like a million different things it can do. Why I other screens up there? Held, but you can also. So I can't really stare at myself. It's just to make sure that the sound is still iPod, working. Or, oh, it's like frozen. <laughs> Anyway, it goes really long, goes 60 inches. So you can literally like put it Five on the feet. floor, put it on the countertop. Yeah, it's, it's a little frozen. But like I said, I had that last one for years and years and years. And it worked amazingly. Three. So you had it for three years. Because my camera's white. So I just, it felt like the right move. So here she is. All Miss set America. Back up. So if you want a good tripod for filming like TikTok content or vlogs or whatever, phone or camera. I love this thing. And it will last you a long time. And I think it's a three years. price, like 25 bucks, something like that. Eh, that's not bad. Like, I just feel like they're either, for tripods, they're either all like just short handheld or like really tall, full size ones. I actually need She's to She's literally speaking tomorrow. to herself so in the I viewfinder. I say goodbye to you and vlog more tomorrow thank you guys for being here and following my life and you know just being a part of this journey i love you guys so much all right bye all right we're going to take a look at the comments i don't know let's see all right guys so i was perusing through her comments they're mostly like you know oh mama fearless you look so good i guess she did she have weight loss surgery i don't know but um I mean, she doesn't look bad. She looks her age. Um, everybody's saying that she shouldn't do the under eye stuff. I don't know. Like, you know, I found, I use um, Rock. I'm, I'm younger than her, I'm sure. But, um, I mean, I think it's helped. I mean, I still get under eye bags. But between makeup and, you know, a good under eye cream... Um, yeah, but I'm definitely getting some Girl Scout cookies this year because not fat enough. $5 isn't that bad. Um, Thin Mints, obviously. Samoas, this is what she was talking about that I feel like, yeah, Tagalongs, what do they not have that name on the box anymore? I don't know. Are they different regions? I don't know. But these Adventurefuls are fantastic. Dosey -si dos Now, don't come for me, but I actually love the shortbreads, okay? I buy them and nobody else touches them because everybody else hates them, but I love, love me a simple cookie. Same thing, the lemon ups are very good. I don't know that I've had the s'mores and I don't know that I've ever had toffee-tastic. Oh, they're, ooh, these are more expensive. So, but who cares? <laughs> Um, I, I do like Girl Scouts as, I mean, I was a Girl Scout for many years. I was a brownie and then I was a Girl Scout and I could have been a cadet, but there weren't really any good troops near me, but I was a Girl Scout when Girl Scouting was tough. So we used to meet once a week, um, and we used to go camping, like real camping, like in a tent, pitching it, hiking to the camping location, um, you know, and it was kind of weird for the city I live in. For, we're a little spoiled in my city. I can't explain it without explaining my city. But yeah, a bunch of us, you know, privileged chicks would hike into the, uh, into the wildness, pitch a tent, cook our own food. Those were the times, man. I don't think they do that now. Well, actually, when my boys were Boy Scouts, I ended up pulling them because it's bullshit to me like all the parents it was all about the parents you know they probably had more parents camping than kids no 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 that's not what it was for I mean I guess they have to times have changed but it was for you to be sort of out on your own <clears throat> learning how to be your own person without you know your parents <coughs> excuse me your pa parents stealing the wind right so maybe that's why I'm not a big fan of uh, good old mama fearless because, you know, and I don't try to do that. I don't try to make myself the center of my kid's life. They need their own life. I don't know. Call me old-fashioned. All righty. That is about it for Alex. Um, you know, she goes shopping. Shopping and eating. That's what we do. Why not? 
All right, guys, thank you so much for clicking on my video. Don't forget to like. Feel like not enough of you watching, either you don't like the video or you just forget to click the like button. Click the like, and if you really hated it, click the dislike. Thanks for stopping by, guys. I will see you on the next one. Bye!